new federal cabinet was announced this morning in Canada by Prime Minister Justin Trudeau. Host of Real Ag Radio, Sean Haney, joins us now for more on this. Sean, you know, you and I spoke yesterday. You were kind of questioning whether Bibo was going to stay as the Ag Minister of Ag. So what is the outcome here? Well, great to be with you here the, today. Yeah, I, I, you know, so she is out. We, we have a new Minister of Agriculture and Agri-Food. And what's interesting is that what is old is new again. Uh, Minister Bigot was shuffled over to the Ministry of National Revenue. And uh, basically, Lawrence McCauley, MP from PEI, Prince Edward Island, is back as the Minister of Agriculture. Now, he's no stranger to agriculture, as he was the Ag Minister uh, previously from 2015 through 2019. So when, when he left to go to Veteran Affairs in March of 19, that's when Mr. Bebeau stepped in. He's been an MP since 1988. Uh, he is one of the longest serving members of, of Parliament. And uh, this is going to shock a lot of people. I, I had a hard time finding people around uh, Ottawa that live in the Ottawa bubble on a regular basis saying that Bebeau would be moved. And if if you did think she was going to be moved, and you know who who would take that spot? I don't think anybody had Lawrence McCauley returning to this post uh, in in probably their top five, maybe even their top ten. This is a big surprise for the industry here this morning. Yeah. So, what are the thoughts? And as far as uh, Minister Bobo, where will she be going? I know she's going to be dealing with a whole other position. And and what is this position for her? And having been moved out, I mean, hard feelings here. Uh, no, I, we, I, we did have uh, a message from somebody close to her that feeling that her mandate letter was fulfilled and it was time for a new list and a new person. Uh, we do, pe you know, it's a little bit different in Canada than the U.S., right? These aren't, you, your cabinet is chosen from elected officials. It's, it's not necessarily appointments that you can pull, pull out of the air based on qualifications. Um, you know, when I talk to people about Minister Bobo, uh, a lot of people, you know, there's a lot of things the industry was challenged with her about, especially on the environmental file. But people were, you know, I guess, uh, happy or satisfied with, they knew what they were dealing with. Mm. And so people thought she would stay. The agriculture is pretty low on the totem pole, so to speak, when it comes to, you know, significance in the Canadian cabinet. So she was challenged from that end as, as well. Um, under Macaulay, we're not going to see a, a lot of big waves. I think we're going to see sort of uh, a lot of status quo, although there is some pretty big files to be completed. The Grain Act Review, the regulatory modernization, and obviously Mr. Bobo is looking for a new challenge to move over to the Ministry of National Revenue, uh, which will be something completely different that she was dealing with with agriculture. Uh, to note as well, uh, the trade minister is going to be uh, Mary Ng. She's going to stay there, although they drop small business from her portfolio. So maybe, maybe making her a little bit more focused, which I think the industry will see very, very uh, as a good thing. Yeah, great insight on this. I know we have a lot more to discuss, unfortunately, out of time. But, Sean, always appreciate you joining us. Host of Real Ag Radio, that is Sean Haney. You want to catch a show, Real Ag Radio, that airs 4.30 p.m. Eastern weekdays. It's on Rural Radio Channel 147. You can find that on SiriusXM. And as always, we love having him here on the Market Day Report.